Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. Learn everything about Excel. All right, today a user sent me a question and they said they have a data set coming from Microsoft Access and then in Microsoft Excel they run some pivot tables on it and they wanted to create a uh, dynamic chart of just the top 10. In this case, I'm doing top five since I think it looks a little better. Uh, but they wanted to know, how do I go about creating that dynamic chart uh, so that I can just kind of set it and forget it and uh, my chart creates itself? So I recommended to the user, well, you know, you can just do a dynamic chart based off of the pivot table. But she was unable or unaware on how to go ahead about doing this. So I uh, created this quick video for you. So let's go show you how this works. Well, let me show you in the data set here. Um, so if I go up to John and I change his value to say 99, you'll notice that he is now in the top five and uh, someone else has been removed from the top five. And if I go up to my uh, data ribbon, I can refresh my data and you'll see now that uh, John is listed here in the chart. He's this red slice right there. Uh, so let me show you how you do this. So I've copied the data set over. We have our data here that you might get even from Microsoft Access or, or who knows what. And we need to create a pivot chart so or a pivot table first. To do that, highlight the range, go up to your insert ribbon, go over to the pivot table and click on pivot table. And I'm just going to choose it in an existing range so that we can see it all together on the screen right here. Click on OK. And uh, then you have your pivot table fields are also going to show up. We want to drag category down into the rows and drag value over into our values. And you can set now see that we have all 13 values in our pivot table here. And I can close down that. And then what we want to do is we want to filter this pivot table for just our top X. And in this case, we're going to do top five. You can change it to top 10. We'll show you how to do that. But you go up to this row labels right here and you'll see that there's this drop down arrow. If you click on the drop down arrow, you will see value filters comes up. And down here at the very bottom, it says top 10. If I click on that, it brings up this dialog box. It says show top or bottom. In this case, I'm going to do top. And then you can change the values of how many do you want to show. I only want to show top five. I don't have that many salespeople, so top 10 doesn't really make sense. Do top five. Uh, and then it gives you different choices on summing them, percent, items. We're just going to leave it as items. And we're going to do it on the value since that's the only value I actually have in my pivot table. Let's click on OK. And you can see now my pivot table has been filtered to the top five values that we saw before. So Steve is one of those top five values. I just applied some conditional formatting over here so we can always see the top five values. And uh, now if I click in my pivot table anywhere, go up to my insert ribbon, I'm going to go over to charts. And in my charts, I'm going to insert a pie chart. Go ahead and bring this up over here, make this just a little bit bigger. Uh, I want to get rid of these, um, these different filter values here. I'm going to right click on that and do hide all field buttons. And uh, then what I want to do is I want to uh, make sure that this is working correctly, but I believe it's already all set and ready to go. So if I come over and I change John, notice John is not in my list. If I change him to 99, which now makes him one of the top values in there, Notice my pivot table has not yet refreshed, so I need to go up to my data ribbon and do refresh all. Click on OK. You'll now notice John is in the pie chart um, as well as in my pivot table. So it's as simple and easy as that. One other option that you may want to do is you may want to create a header row here, or, um, sorry, a formula to update your chart title. So let me show you how you do that. So in the column F, I'm going to say equals. And I'm going to do a quotes, and I'm going to say top because I want text in there. I'll do a space, end quotes, my ampersand symbol, and then I'm going to do count. Hit my tab button, and it brings up my parentheses. I'm just going to do the whole column of E. Now, since I'm counting the values in E, you see grand totals also there. So I just want to end my parentheses and subtract one from that because I don't want to. I want to. Uh, disinclude or not include the grand total value there. Hit enter, you can see it says top five. Now if I go over to total and I click on, click on it in my chart, hit the equals, and you can see it's now up in my formula bar and just select that cell. My um, title on this chart will always say top five. Now why this is important is even though it's top five, but what if we have ties? So let's go ahead and create a bunch of 99s in here. And you now see we have one, two, three, four, five, six values all everybody tied at the top. My data has not yet refreshed, so I go up to my data ribbon, refresh all, 
and you'll see the pivot table is smart enough to say you've got six so your top five is not really accurate it's top six and you notice that my um, value here says top six instead of top five and my uh, therefore my chart title is going to link to that cell because it's counting the values and subtracting the one for the grand total. So hopefully that's going to help you uh, create your own dynamic pivot table, uh, pivot top tens, let's say, and uh, uh, that you can use that in your next Excel dashboard. Once again, this is Steve Equals True. Please head on over to ExcelDashboardTemplates.com where you're going to learn other great posts like this. Uh, please also subscribe to my video channel so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.